do you ever get turned on looking at a man, right? Whether he's naked or he's dressed up, does he actually turn you on the way we turn them on? That's the question. And per adventure, your man actually, you know, maybe he does turn you on. What part of his body really does that work? Hmm. Me, I know my own. I'm not going to share it yet. Maybe I might share it, maybe I might not share it. I don't think I want to share it, but I think I just will share it. But then I really want to find out from you what part of your man should, in case you have a man whose nakedness or whose body turns you on, what part of that body is it that does the trick for you? So, before I go on a bit, please do follow me at Sex Talk with Soul Spice on IG and also at Sex Toys with Soul Spice underscore. And also, don't forget to follow us at This Is Pop Central, the only TV station that pops sex to your TV screen. Remember, all we do on this show is bring your fantasy to reality. So, tonight, I have a very special guest. Hmm. See this guest? Let me know. So when I come back, I will download it. But for the meantime, Call your friends, family, your neighbor, your pastor, your colleague, even your enemy, and let them know that Soul Spice is here. Because tonight we are talking more about our men and what really, you know, what is it about them that really does turn us on. Think about it. I know a lot of you don't even think it towards that side. Like, what's it about the man that will turn you on? Ah, it's plenty. Don't let me start. It's plenty. And the truth is, until you start to focus on those things, you probably might never know. So, on this time, we'll be taking a break. <laughs> I'll be redhead. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. And with me is a very special guest. I know I said redhead, but if you know what redhead means, it means you have a dirty mind. Redhead. You know where redhead is coming from, right? I know a lot of you are thinking, red hair, there's someone that has a red head, right? Hmm. But where do we use that word red head most? Think about it. Where? What part of our lives does red head come out from? If you know it, then you're a bad person. No, not really bad, but you're, you're an above normal person. You're not normal. Because you have to be on that level to know what red head means. And I'm very sure my guest knows what redhead means for her to be a redhead person. You cannot be normal and have redhead. Mm -mm. Mm. It's not possible. The same way you cannot be normal and have a blonde hair. But still redhead is higher than those who have blonde hair. So let's find out from her why redhead and what that means to her. Anyways, her name is Jessica Samson and she is hmm, the convener of what we know today as the very first ever sex conference in Africa. I'm not just in Nigeria, Africa. Do you know what that means? Anyway, welcome me, Jessica. Redhead. <laughs> you cannot be normal to thinking? have redhead. I want to wow your people. No, you have, you have gone beyond wowing us. Like, Thank you for having me. But why red? Tell me our look. You know why? Okay, so I think I am in a season of being very audacious, even when you and I know what red head means. <laughs> so let me just interpret it as me being very audacious and doing, you know, you know just being bold. You, you think you are still being audacious. <laughs> you are beyond audacious. For someone to actually say she wants to own, right, and have a sex conference. People have been doing conferences all over the world, mm. right? Since only God knows how many years ago. Right. But you chose sex <laughs> of all things. Not conference about motherhood, not conference about being a wife, yeah. not conference about love. You know, you decide to go for that one thing mm -hmm. that no one can ever dare go for. That's right. how you can be a redhead. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us about who Jessica really is. Okay, uh, thank you, first of all. It's good to be here again yes, and so. share this platform with you. And you're here uh, on, a, on a different level. <laughs> on a different you are level. Not, you're not the woman that was here before. It's plenty. You're not a mom of multiples. <laughs> Honestly, well, that's so true. Yeah, the last time you came, you had two yes, kids. Two. But now uh, you have four. Oh, my goodness. Four. She had twins. <laughs> like, twins. Yes. I know what she's um, been doing. 
Thank you so much. So um, Jessica is a mother. Um, I would say that um, I'm just a regular woman who is doing a lot, you know, trying to push the, you know, the gender of talking about human sexuality in such a way that you and I are comfortable mm. with the conversation. So I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a fitness enthusiast. A lot of people don't know about that, but I do both, mm. right? <laughs> so I think that you that's, that's that. it. You do <laughs> So I think that that's, that's who Jessica is. And then, I, know, I know more than that. Okay. So ask me. She's a police officer. <laughs> She's a police officer. Mm, right. But a lot of people don't, they don't, don't know, know that, that about part. you. Yes. You just know, okay, you come on social media, mm -hmm. you do intimate things mm -hmm. with your husband, you mm -hmm. like to do rubbish on that chair, <laughs> that sex chair. Right. I think the color of that chair is red too. Yes, it is. You know me too well then. <laughs> now, I, now I know why the hair is red. Right. Red head on a red chair. What are you thinking? Under the red light. What are you thinking? <laughs> it's going through my head. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to imagine you in all those positions. Okay. Because I know you've mentioned a number of positions on that chair. So I'm just okay. trying to I'm trying to bring you to life in my mm -hmm. head, watching you do that. So I'm unconsciously watching porn in my head. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But that's cool. Um, I mean, it's late night, it's so spicy, so. Yeah. So I guess that's okay. And I'm seeing the energy in you, mm -hmm. you know, being turned over for months. Oh, my goodness. Like yeah. Okay. If you don't know about sex chair, then you don't know Jessica. <laughs> if you don't know about sex chair, you don't know Jessica mm -hmm. because when you go to her page, that's, that's where her workout is. So she's, we know, we know where she works, right? Not the normal workout you're thinking. Her workout is on a red platform. That's true. <laughs> Anyways, um, so... Like I said, you're a police officer, right? right. Um, you're a sex coach. You are, I know you are into um, kids. You do a whole right. lot with children. You have a whole lot you're doing with Lagos State and mm. all. So tell us, you know, basically everything. Because we just know you to be that one person that likes to write mm. her man. Right. Ah. That man don't suffer. Navi don't suffer. Oh, God. <laughs> or he's enjoying, you know? There's are some kind of suffering it. that you suffer. <laughs> you will pray, God, may this suffering no end. Mm -hmm. Now you think about one. it. So, so this one is not suffer. It's pain, you know? <gasps> yeah. And pain is needed. Mm -hmm. When there's pleasure <laughs> and there's no pain, together, it's not complete. It's not complete. A bad person. <laughs> Good bad person. <laughs> Erotic bad person. Thank you. So tell us. Um, so there's so much you've said everything, mm -hmm. so I really don't know what to say at this point, but I think that um to be able to walk in your path fully and knowing that I'm in an uncommon space at the time, I need to do a lot of um you know re engineering taking um courses certifications being that part that fully puts me in a place of authority. you know a lot of people just think when you say sexuality you are you know, just teaching pleasure. There's so much, there's right. such a wide topic. I mean, and I think that human sexuality by far has been one of the most, uh, not difficult, most um, groundbreaking idea I would ever think as a person or a journey that I'm still, you know, getting deep. And I think I'm one person that, you know, likes to go to the end of something. If I'm here, I'm here. If we're friends, I'm loyal to the core. So, Back to, you know, my path or my career, I'm trying as much as possible to be very grounded on all sides. You know, there's a part of gender, there's a part of um, violence, there's a part of law. Mm -hmm. Let me take, let me digress a bit. Now, when it comes to intimacy for couples in, um, in marriage, you hear things like, man, you know, allow me to speak pidgin English, yeah. right? This is late nights with Soul Spice, so these conversations are permitted. So imagine when they say, man know the raping wife that kind of thing mm. so you get cases like in law there's maybe you go to the police you're going to report a case how do you manage having to man and wife what does you know forceful you know yeah. sometimes you hear cases like nothing like that but when it comes to psychology human understanding this is where concept comes in and yeah. it might be like concept so these are conversations that it's beyond just pleasure talking about orgasm so you see the part of where law comes into play you see the part where psychology and then you see the part where family systems come to play. Right. So it's a whole lot. So when I say that I'm a sex educator, I'm doing a whole lot, that's because to make your work really enriching, 
you have to do so many things that makes you 100 right yeah. you see some persons who come for counseling or coaching or consultation they just want to get better at just being a good rider to their husband or just be a better lover but you find out that some of these people have issues like trauma that they are dealing with from you know so how do you manage that so we now have to go back all over to say okay baby girl or you know this is not what you might need at this point in time yeah. so we might do some interventions that now would need some of these services or some of this of my um expertise or um certifications or some of my um work and that comes into play so it's a whole lot of package when you see jessica so so much you know yeah. it's not everything you bring on social media because again what we do is quite sensitive so you want to filter some of these things and because of discrete um conversations you can't put everything out there but people who work with me one-on-one -on -one understand how intense we can go and be for a better life and first of all a lot of people do not agree to this but sex has a way that it relates to almost everything in your life right if you have a bad past it has a way of affecting your maybe parenting skill or being a better lover and it goes on and on and that trauma affects you and even make you not productive maybe in your place of work so you see how interconnected everything is so yeah hmm. I love the fact that you said, you know, sex affects everything. And that's what a lot of people do not know. Right. You know, I was speaking to um, a friend and I said, why is that when companies, when they have their retreats, mm -hmm. they don't ever think of bringing in a sex coach or a sex therapist? Mm -hmm. You wonder why you have, what they say, HR people, mm -hmm. you know, the women that are bitches, Absolutely. the men are yeah. evil, you mm -hmm. know. Some of these people don't get it on. Nobody's Absolutely. doing them, you know. Yes, and yes. so it, it looks like they are wicked. Though they have mood swings, mm -hmm. right? Um, for a man who wakes up in the morning to say, okay, I'm going to have sex with my wife, and says, I'm not interested. Mm -hmm. He's already angry from home. from home. And so when he gets to work, whether you are his PA or, or you not, are the secretary, so get any small mistake mm. that probably would have, okay, you know what, Just he mm. would give it to you. Mm. Not because of what you have done, mm. but because... He didn't get to ejaculate yeah. at home, mm -hmm. you know. He didn't get a pussy to fuck, I'm whether he liked it or not, you. you know. And so we don't see it that way. We feel it's just sex. Mm -hmm. No, it's not just it's sex. Not just it affects absolutely. everything. For, for a woman who probably was, you know, giving back to back that early morning, mm -hmm. even when you hit her car, she will yeah. look at you. She will mm -hmm. smile. The anger will not be that much because she's mm -hmm. already happy. Mm -hmm. There's still, you know, semen in her. So, mm -hmm. and they always say when there's semen in women, women who have semen in them, are happier women, women than normal women. Have you noticed women who are maybe 60 plus and then you find out another woman who is 60 plus, one is bitter, one is excited. If you check, you know, if you do a background check and check this, you know, their lifestyle, mm -hmm. like how they live every other day, you notice that this other one is living a pleasurable life. Yes, not so. just, and this other one is like, okay, I'm an old woman. And maybe yeah, the there's nothing to eat again. There's really nothing. <laughs> we don't old. It's all over. Right? So, and, and, and then other women may be like, okay, this other person, maybe some sort of, I don't want to say backbite, or, but they have this kind of thing. Like, why is she always like this? Yeah. If you check such a person, she's still living fully, you sure. know, and then she's enjoying the stage of maybe menopause, and then nothing is holding her back. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing she hasn't seen. And then, you know, that happier life, you know, you see it. And that's why you see a lot of people who say that's, a, uh, that's an angry boss, you know, my bitter mm. boss. There's so much involved. You want to start checking sexual backgrounds you know do some sexual history and see how this is connecting to people's productivity at work right so yeah so i agree to what you're saying okay so that being said let's go straight to today's topic right um so we're talking about our men mm. you know a lot of times i hear men talk about how their wife would pass them and mm. they're turned on by something mm -hmm. probably she's in she's wearing shorts or She's not wearing bra. Mm -hmm. Or you see a man who is sleeping and you come close to just say something and he's dipping his hand. And I'm like, are you not supposed to be sleeping? Mm -hmm. You know, they are sleeping, but, you know, the feel of that breast. Mm -hmm. You know, there are men who just, once you are dressed, you are going to walk. It's a turn on for them. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't know if it works for some people. I've seen women who are ready to walk out the door to go to work, but they are pulled back in. Mm -hmm. To give one round. One more. Just like, take one ah, ah, no, now. Nah. You can't go like this now. Nah. <laughs> right. How can you just, I, I will let you go. No. Mm, Come and bad, take one yes. first. Right. You know, 
And we have seen men who feel like, I'm just bored. I'm in mm. the mood. Let me just, you know. Quickly, let's just do something. Exactly. Just, you know, you know. Something would have triggered because, him to want yes. to say, let me do. Yes. Knowing that he's fully dressed, mm -hmm. he's ready for work, mm -hmm. right? So the question is, do we women, do we get turned on? So I'm talking about you and I. You and I, we know normal. So anything they turn us on, <laughs> anything they turn us on, on nine right. fingers, if you turn us on, right? Yes, but on a normal scale, right, do, do you think women get turned on mm. by their men? Okay, so um, personally, again, I'm normal, right? Well, personally... You're above normal. <laughs> Which normal? Okay, so I'm going to talk from two angles, yeah. um, personally and professionally. I think that, but a lot of people, it's not always what to make the news, like, why would a woman be turned on, mm. you know, by, you know, just looking at a man? But there's such a thing as women do really get turned on by the look, not just even the physique, but the thing is women truly get turned on by their men. Mm. I personally do. I, am I supposed to share my yeah, personal I'm effect? Yeah, But anyway. I'm here to do be born. <laughs> well, thing is I am truly because... It, I mean, it's one of the attributes that I think that I like in my man. You have to come correct. And even if I know that I like some physical um, features, you, there are also some other features that I find very attractive that, you know, sometimes I may just make jokes and all. Mm. So sometimes the way men may express their own um, sort of expression when they see, like, you may be really, um, you know, dressed and they're turned on, may be different from how a woman will feel because most women find it difficult to really express. Sometimes there's been cultural, you know, misunderstanding that women don't go approaching a, me a, a man or a man. Mm. But deep down, you're really turned on by how your husband looks. Like, I encourage women in my community to say that. Sometimes, just tell your man, like, oh, God, you really look nice to be. Mm. Won't, and the thing is, these men actually like it. Now, professionally, I did a research because I took time to want to know, to learn. So let me just speak from um, personal understanding yeah. alone and most women i mean i think about 70 percent of women in my community and online because we have some sort of you know um audience and 70 percent shows the fact that they are turned on by their husband's look i went on to say in their bareness would you think you'll be turned on by your man's you know bareness and most of them said yes but the problem is a lot of people do not express mm. that as women so it's a yes that Women do feel the same way men feel. But when it comes to intimacy, conversation, sexuality and all, you find men more proactive in talking, in taking initiative, in doing, in touching, in reaching out. You know, by, but women sort of withdraw. Women sort of, you know, keep it inside because mm. when it comes to, like, orgasms and all, men are explosive. They, you know, they release, you know, the energy is out. But for women... Our orgasm is more of an impl implosive kind of feeling. So that's how it is when it comes to even sometimes expressing. You know, we sort of contain a whole lot. You see that analysis that I gave? So mm. you find less women who are talking about it. But trust me, a lot of women are turned on by their men. So why do you think women don't talk about it? Because for me, so, so let me give an example, right? So sometimes I don't know what happened. You know, um, my husband went shopping. Mm. You know, normally men have this their um, inner wear, like inner shirts they mm. wear under their right. um, suits and all, right? So he bought this particular one, and for the first time, I think mistakenly, mm. right? He bought um, it was like a singlet, mm. right? And it was it was quite open, and so I could see the chest and everything, and they were like. Can't wear. I said, okay, if you can't wear it, then I think you can at least wear it at home. Mm. And the first time he wore it and he stepped out, I was like, ah, ah. Mm -mm. It took a second look. <laughs> Let me get this chest. I'm telling you. You know, and I love men with broad chest. Mm. You know, I get turned on by broad mm. chest. Not any kind of broad chest anyways. Right, but I get mm. turned on by broad chest. And for the first time, I think I paid more attention, attention. to like, oh, no, nah, mm. this guy carry, mm. you know. And like I said, I love this on you. Mm. And guess what? I went to buy plenty. Mm. plenty. I bought different <laughs> colors. I said, don't wear anything at home again. Be wearing this. this. Yeah. Right? It was just a singlet. Yeah. 
But there was something about it. Mm -hmm. There was something about the chest. There was something mm -hmm. about, you know, missing the hands, mm -hmm. you know, everything. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is, but, you know, every time he wears that particular, I'm like, mm -hmm. Thing is, you've discovered your sensuality. Mm -hmm. You know what makes you get positively triggered. You know that thing that puts you there. A lot of Nigerian African women mm. are sexually illiterate, if mm. you permit that word. A lot of women are sexually unaware of themselves. Maybe because a lot of people are not paying attention. You see, people just think about how I look, you know, for women, you know. Does he really like it? Or, you know, they're more in about pleasing, you know, their partners or their spouses are not really thinking about what do I really like. Mm. Rather, a, most wives would say, what can I really do to please him? Or what can I really do to make him? But a lot of women are not really asking the right question or thinking or reflecting. What is that thing? Remember you said you had a second look. Yeah. A lot of women will give the fifth look, but they are not noticing anything. As mm. insignificant as a singlet will be, but that's something that, okay, I like the way that's, that's my man. Like I call my husband, my body mechanic, right? Mm. <laughs> I'll take that again. Yeah. So I call my husband, my body mechanic. What does that mean? Meaning the same way you take your car to the mechanic store or, you know, it's fixing one thing, yeah. you know, they're fixing. That's how is my, that's my body. So it serves your so, body. So yeah, it serves, yeah, you know. It changes so, your clothes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, remove a battery. Remove a battery, that's not just remove a battery. When I say things like this, I am affirming that two are becoming one or mm. two, you know, we're one body. When I say things like this or I do things like this, it's helping me be very conscious of the fact that I'm turned on by just the way he talks. Like, that's something for me. The way he's talking on phone, and I think he has an idea because sometimes I let him know how it makes me feel mm. and you see him exhibiting more of that. So thing is, a lot of women are unattracted to their partners anymore because sometimes they don't really even know what is that thing that puts them there. Okay. Genesis, so I think we need to have more women who are aware of themselves. Like I like my man just being, you know, bare in the house, you know. Sometimes, even the way he walks, like, have you seen my man walking? He walks as if maybe he's bigger than Dangote. I, I, I love can, that. I can, I'll come to you. You know, just his, his, his courage, just his look. So you ask some women, like, okay, what is that? They're like, I don't know. Do you, do you understand? Because, yeah. I mean, you're in the business. So you know, are you like, you don't know. But when it comes to that conversation, they have a say. They know what to say. They have an opinion. But when it comes to their men, so people are not paying attention. But what I would say is, Another thing is, like, we're talking about men today. A lot of men also need to meet the women halfway. Because mm. you see a lot of women are making effort to look really good, to try to, you know, not just to impress, to be a, a, you know, a beautiful person in and out. Men should also learn that. Because sometimes when a man just comes from work, is tired already, Lagos traffic could be hell, you know, every other thing. And you come back home, you want to sleep on my bed where you never bath. Think about it. So, 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 so going there, right? Mm -hmm. I feel a lot of women, we do way too much. Mm. We have to wear makeup. We right. have to wear our hair. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to fix your nails. Mm -hmm. You have to pedicure, manicure, mm -hmm. you know, a whole lot of things. Um, going by what you said, um, yesterday, right, I was going to the office and I wore a wig. I have not one week in months. Mm. Of course, you know how Lagos has been hit. When I'm my local, mm. I'm good to go. Mm. And then I wore my wig and I wore my dress. And my husband was like, what's happening? Mm. And like, what do you mean what's happening? Mm. I was like, ah, are you actually just going to the office? I'm like, yeah. somewhere else. And you're wearing wig. Mm. This is very unlike you. Mm. Do you have extras or maybe one? Are you meeting someone? Do you have a session with someone? Is someone coming over like, no. Mm. I said, heat has gone down, so mm. I just so I like, ah. flaunt. Okay. Mm. And you see, that can be something that triggered him beautifully in a way that you may not know. Mm. So back to how I think men should also come ready, come prepare. 
you know, a lot of men, because some women will say, I don't really, you know, like the few percent, like the 30 percent who voted, like, I don't really, um, I'm not Give about the attention. physical, yeah, I'm, I, you know, but these women are also paying attention to as easy as nails, you know, husband's feet. You see mm. women who go for pedicure and manicure. You know that there's such a thing as men also going for pedicure and manicure. Yeah. So when you lose all of that, it's easy for the woman to say, I don't really connect anymore. Mm. Again, that's why there has to be some sort of sexual, central balance, both for the man and for the woman. Because if we're going to be talking to the men, we also need to address this hygiene, cleanliness, showing up. Really, you know, put on your roll-on for me and Post say, belly. You, I mean, you know, so you need to, you see women, like when you go to the gym, you find more women than men. Because men... Do, they even, that, do they even work out? Uh -huh. So sometimes you hear things like, once I give her money, every other thing is good. Mm. She may just use the money as a backup to just, you know, suppress all of that. But if you want to truly find out that you want to meet this woman halfway, you also have to meet her halfway so that there has to be some balance. Like, you know, I like it when you wear your briefs in such a way that it makes me feel some giggles, you know, and then you make an effort, mm. right? The same way most women in marriages are making efforts. So as much as a lot of women feel turned on, that's because those, are, those women are actually thinking and seeing and giving thoughts, one or two. But for the ones who don't really care, that's because they've been in a place of, okay, na so it they be. I cannot come and kill myself. I cannot come and say, anyhow, when you look, I know they even they see the body anymore mm. because there are the kids to cater for my business and all of that. But I tell you that sexual balance is important and is paramount to the overall well-being for the marriage to thrive for, you know, for just it to go. There has to be, you know, the wheel. You know that wheel of life where the spiritual aspect has to be 100, yeah. finance, social life, you know. So it's just a wheel sex that has to be balanced. Too. Yeah. So imagine every other place is 100, but your sex life is zero. You can't even get 100 that, when yeah. the sex life is zero. Yeah, yes, exactly. Because sex will balance yes, every other part yeah, of it. Absolutely. So when, they, see, when they lay you well and they yeah. do you well, so just you are grateful, you are happy. Absolutely. You want to pray for the man, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Someone was talking Monique about... Monique on day in all of this. Abba. <sighs> No, no. Stop it. What are we? Monique on day. Waiting uh, else again. That man's face <laughs> different from heaven. You know what yes, 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 I Yes, I was talking to someone yesterday and she was like, oh, um, if, you know, we're talking about finance. Right. And I was talking about how, you know, a lot of husbands owe their wives money. Mm. And some don't pay. Mm. You know, and some women will collect the same money mm. three, four times. Yes. And the man is not even... Thinking, or... thinking like, you know, as she was saying something about, oh, you know, I can collect money for this twice, three times, and he cannot even remember he has mm. paid me. And I said, well, probably you're just lucky. Mm. I said, no, she's not lucky. Mm. She only has a man who has enough money not to remember. That yeah, been, this has been paid for before. Not to remember. A man who is calculating every day will remember what he has done with mm. money. And there are some men who actually have the money, mm -hmm. but they are very detailed with their the spending. Call. When some people say, oh, for everything I do, I must write it down. Mm -hmm. I cannot date you. Yes. Because, well, if you're also that person, you, why not? Because there are people who are, you know, different people. Let me take, there's this thing, there's this analysis I've done. Do we together, Jessica? <laughs> no, we may not be. I know some people get stingy so bad that they are even stingy to themselves. themselves true. You know, you have the money. Back to value system, yeah. back to how you see life. We always like to say that people are wired differently. Mm. Again, to so how a man and a woman feel sexually and all of that. So mm. if I know we do not balance on this aspect, and that's why premaritals are very important. Conversations, couples go for cutting. Um, have this conversation to really know who you're dealing life with. A lot of people got into that marriage and realized that, oh, this is who you are. Problem, beginning of issues. Okay, that being said, I want to divert a little into the last wedding, mm. the last public wedding we had, okay. right, of a beautiful young lady mm. who has been very clean on social media, yeah. right? No scandal, nothing. nothing, no story about, oh, she dated this, she slept mm. with this one, touched mm. that, no. All of a sudden, you're getting married mm. and there's stories, mm. right? So, you know, when you're in love, you can say anything. Anything. You know, there's no control. Mm. You know, and I, I think um, one, of her, one of her talks, right, was based on, oh, um, I met him. We dated mm. for two and a half months. Mm. And then the third month he proposed. And seven, and nine months down the line, we're getting married. 
Now, because of the Lord, Paul had to dig up a lot of things. Also, because he had to hide his face mm. at the on, um, yeah, from the onset. Shows, yeah. You know, why didn't you just show his face in mm. the first place? You hid his face, and now his face is out there, and everybody's digging up a whole lot of things. And someone asked an important question today. And she said, for a man who walked down the aisle, well, in 2022, I think December 2022, he got married. Proper big wedding. Big wedding. December 2022. Divorced. She now asked, at what point did they divorce? Mm -hmm. At what point did they leave for them to understand that this is not going to work? Right? At what point did he meet this person for him to have married? At what point did he even heal mm -hmm. from that breakup? Because marrying someone, living together with someone, and breaking is not boyfriend and girlfriend. It's though. not. It's for life thing. Even if you don't love that person, the fact that you live with this person. What I would say here is that a lot of people are not healed. Mm. We're still healing in one way or another. Then there are other class of people who think that they need other people to cover up how they feel to mm. be able to heal. So I don't know how much you want us to go into this conversation, but it's something that we should really talk about, right? Or we can just maybe touch a bit. And my point is... It, so, so I think a lot of us need to do some sort of healing again, back to healing because you brought that conversation. It may just be a case of, and again, it may not be well with me if I want to go that path or you. But to some person, to the lady in question, this is everything she's ever wanted. Now exactly. you they think about a matter, she's exactly. not seeing it. So we're just here, yeah, maybe just analyzing and all, but that's like at this point in time, she's in bliss. Mm. But time will tell. Are you truly in bliss or you're truly in bruises? I'm, I'm praying, I'm praying mm. for her. I'm praying for bliss, trust mm. me. Because I, I think one of the, one of the people mm. I used um, as a point of contact for her was Charlie Boy. Mm. Charlie Boy was married four years. Mm. Um, was married to, I think, three different women. Mm. You know, and, and he worked out. Still, yes. And he and married now. the fourth one. Yes. And, and way how many way years way. after? They are, they are still, still together, and all. you know. So I, I, I want to hope mm. and I want to believe it would work mm. for her. So that's you know, because why I, I listened to one of his ex-wife speak wow. this morning, and she said she's really happy for her. Mm. That see, the fact that it didn't work for me doesn't does mean, not mean it won't work. Exactly that why I said them. she's Maybe happy. Maybe to the previous marriage it was all bruises, yeah. but now it might be at least you never can tell. And who says that if you marry? I mean, again, for me maybe because of my value system, what I think is top for me or priority, I may not want that as for my story. But mm. for her, it's not what she counts as, you know, there has to be a one person or no person before, you know, maybe she's not even seeing, we're seeing the exes and all. She's not seeing it. She doesn't sure. have a problem. What if they're even living in peace? What if it's how she's designed the way that may work for her? Sometimes these rules are made, but, you know, the rules, does it make it... I don't know how to put it. I mean, when it comes to human engineering, you when you go deeper, you understand that what you see, that's your perception. What True. do I see? Yeah. I'm not seeing what you're seeing. So I would only just say, it is your cross. You carry it. But I wish you were above all things, just like you are wishing I was. Mm. So why not? I mean, have you seen the way she's all, you know, the joy, the excitement? The girl has the body. fine. It's plain. That's, yeah, the kind so. of, that's the kind of man that will turn you on when they go. So why are we now fighting? I've been looking at that man's <laughs> chest. I will not lie. <laughs> He's got a broad I, I don't know. I have something for broad-chested broad men. But I've been looking at the chest. The yeah. guy has, for a 50-plus man. Man, that's some energy right He doesn't there. even look it. Look it. That's some, you know, work right there. That's the kind of man you want to steal from someone. Mm. I, I know, still. May nobody steal my, may nobody steal my man. I'll show you his picture. Um, <laughs> but then, <laughs> um, uh, let, let me uh, the, let me let me speak to the team please. behind behind the the camera. No, please, can worry. you post this picture? <laughs> We're going to post this picture. His name. But right? guess what? It's not even on me. You know. You know how they say. My man, also. if I like, let me let me give him all the styles and position in the world. A man that will stay, will stay. A man that will stay. Mm. All I just need to do is to do me, be happy for me, live fully, just the same way. If he says there has to be another woman, it's not on me because I'm good. I'm trying in my capacity and all. So even if I we'll say give another husband, there are plenty. <laughs> See, 
mother of three right. and now marrying younger guys. Yes, truly. Like, you know, God knows what they say, oh, mm. when you're working from your marriage, nobody will marry you. You have to, nobody will see you. The world has so evolved that um, the things that we used to say, what, what I mean, in the last two weeks, my ears are like, Jessica, what informed your decision mm. in going this path? I've heard it, you know. But the good thing is, in all of this, what informed your decision? People are both to say, but you know what? I'm happy you're doing it. I've been having questions. I want to ask, ask, I want to do this one, you know. And that goes to say, okay, so I'm, you know, fulfilling needs of people. You're bringing solutions. So the question is, are you truly leaving you? Because sometimes, yeah. even while you're living, you're doing you. In the fear, in your certainties, and all of that that comes with it, just carry on, you know. It may not be just as you want, but deep down, there's something. You know how people just make me love certain songs, like this song, uh, I, you know, but you know what I'm talking about, how you oh, grow on music. How you, I, mean, I don't know how to say, I can't sing to save my life, but ooh. I, Excuse me, that's know? my daughter's song. Okay, so you see, you that's my baby song. You see, I don't know how much. In fact, somehow I just will be in my bathroom because that's where sometimes I just pray. Listen, I find myself saying, "I," you know. So sometimes when you are trying to make an impact or doing it right, sometimes it may not make sense. But when you listen, like the question we're talking about. You see this lady, it may be the best beautiful love story of their lives. Sure. And they're good. So so back to the You know, you know, you saying this, I, I remember one time during um Clubhouse, we we're having like a session and they're talking about oh how long should one date yeah, before, before you get married, you know. You need to know the person, you need to know their family, mm. you need to do this. You know. And I remember one woman came up and she was like, It doesn't really matter. Mm. I met my husband at the club. We had wow. sex the first night. Wow. I've been married over 21 years. Oh, wow. And people like, no, it's not possible. Like, we got married five days after. Wow. You know, and that was the very first time mm. I ever heard. So, so like, well, people like us are not much, mm. right? Mm. But some people just have that luck. Yes. They meet with the right person. Right. They connect with oh, the right okay. person, right? And the same thing happens in real life. You see people get married like, these people, they don't look alike. Mm -hmm. This person is so and yeah, they kind wild. Of blend so and they've been married this number of years. Back How is that possible? types of marriages, a lot of um, in family life systems, you know, you have several types of marriages. It doesn't mean that when you are in a particular type of marriage, it doesn't mean this other person won't work. It may just be what they're patching, making, trying to. Mm -hmm. As long as you have two willing individuals who are ready to do the work, I think any kind will work. Just like you said, met in the club that is some people's red flag like exactly. how can i meet you on the first day and i'm like I sex with you, you know i don't know about it yeah because i may want to go 100 but you will not find me go one or not on the first on the second on the third but sometimes stages and faces might just want to make me i'm going there on the first so you just never can tell you know mm. so sometimes these rules don't apply but what you want to check if you ask me is to check within. A lot of people don't listen to their inside. You mm. know, my dad was taking a, a a teaching sometime last month, and I was opportune to listen to it about ego, um, id, and super ego. Sometimes the flesh just tells you to do something, you do it. There's a man that is in a man that makes the man the man he is. That's my father's line. Mm. If you listen deep down into yourself, even when everything doesn't look perfect to every other person but if your man in man that makes the man that the man he is mm. just go it will work so we don't know the man in that lady who says you know what give it your all and if it doesn't still work out maybe it's maybe your ego who just pushes you but probably, eventually it's part of her you'll life. be good you know, exactly it's, and you it's a journey she, need, she needed to have walked past nobody you know. who is working i mean the first i was going to be on tv i was you know fidgeting oh my god I see Fiji right now. You don't know how I'm managing my <laughs> coping mechanism, just being here with the famous soul spice. But then you grow on the job, you mm. learn on the job. So eventually, marriage will teach her. The same way you've been growing on writing, The same way right? they teach me. Some days I just say, like, you know, I'm just done with it. I'm tired, you know. All that is, I'm like, oh, this is just the man of my dreams. So we keep learning on the job. People. Man of our dreams. <laughs> and so she do one, two. do two. Four kids now, man of Virginia. Ah. Anyways, on this one, we're going to be taking a break. And when we come back, we'll be talking directly on the part of our men 
that probably would turn us on faster than any other thing. Don't go to Cosmos Spice and Redhead Jessica. We'll be right back. Okay, yes, welcome back to Late Now with Soul Spice. And I still have with me my very special redhead guest. If you don't know what redhead is, or what it means, or what it stands for, you are on your own, on a very long thing. If you still don't understand what a very long thing is, ah, then there's no solution. I don't know how else I can help you, because if you don't know redhead and long thing, then I don't know where you stand to you. That means you should be in bed. You should be here. Right, only those who understand should be here. There's some things we need to talk about, but we don't have to use all our mouth when we say it. Those that understand, they grab it and they run with it. So, if you're still wondering what does redhead mean, long thing that's is that not the band song? Oh, <laughs> your way is far. Let's go and sleep first. Go and sleep. Um, so now we're talking about you know, men if uh, men turn us on the way we do turn them on i understand the fact that we have you know a whole lot of features you know we've got the nipples mm -hmm. you know we have the boobs mm -hmm. you know we have the ass for those who have ass people like us don't have that we accept it right we have the ass we have you know the tummy for some people we have the curves mm -hmm. you know we have a whole lot you know, our makeup is there, our hair is there. Today you're on low cut, tomorrow you're wearing a wig, next tomorrow it's a face cap, mm -hmm. you know. We are everywhere. But for these men, a lot of times, when they are home, you know they pass boxes as well. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know about men abroad, but a lot of African men are hardly fully dressed at home. So you hear society say women should dress for dress for your man, mm. right? Probably wear spag, no bra, or wear crop top and you know shorts, you know bomb short. Just wear something, you know something sexy. Mm -hmm. What do these men? What do they have to offer? I said wearing boxers. Okay, so you see, I, because you mentioned other men in the diaspora, so for mm. me, I would say because of the weather condition maybe mm. right you find you know why do i want to be so covered when i'm home you know so i may as well just um you know flex and be chilled with boxers and all. Can I boxers but too? the question is oh sure yes but but you need to cover because what uh, do you call so, oh, so, no, 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 so the thing is what do you call your privates so for a lot of men the chest and all is not your privates, but just the boxers will do because maybe they sweat and all. But your boobs cannot be openly um, be bare because that's your private. So once you, you know, take care of your private, that's why I was saying earlier that beyond just the boxers, there are other things that would need to attract your women or the wives. That's why you must now do beyond just wearing boxers. Mm. You need to now take care of yourself, do pedicure. A lot of men don't do facials, but it's necessary to be able to be that person who's showing up. A lot of people just, you know, like their hair do, you know, just keep it clean and all. So those are features that you can look at. Remember, men and women are different when it comes to um, physical features. We said that before. So, but the one the men are focused on should be properly, you know, catered for. Mm. Yeah, so you, you don't want a man maybe covering completely or be that person because the weather isn't favorable for them to, you know, be all covered up. If there's the weather where there's um, the cold and all, it's okay for you to cover completely. And mm. for a lot of women or a lot of men, I'm comfortable being by my boxers. Why do you want a man to wear the jeans at home? Because women don't. But you, you see women who cover up and down. So it, it's balanced, if you ask me. But I know that some men and most men should do more in being more present in their looks because it truly turns women on. But yeah, man, say now money woman they find if I carry my big tummy, my one pack, you know, that's what they I call it. it tummy. Not six pack, one pack. Mm -hmm. We're good to go. And the woman will be like, some women, now money, mm. now money be the cocoa. So once you they're fine, so we need to start looking at areas like this. But specifically, a man's body can turn his woman on. A lot so, of so what, what, so part of, what, what part of a man's body do you think? will turn the woman on faster. 
okay, so it's specific for different men. For a lot of men, uh, you know, what we do to say that most men are, are stunned on in, around their, you know, breast region as well. You know, they are poor, they are what we call pulse areas. Mm -hmm. Those are places that turn men on and maybe they are sensitive places, right? So you think about, so think about the pulse area, just Google and check maybe what are the pulse areas. Pulse areas are always what turn women on and both men. So now other things might now be individually connected. Mm. So what I would like in my man might not be what you like in your man. Okay, let's find out what do you like in your man. Okay, so let me ask you, what do you like in your man? Well, I like to see the back of my man. Wait, 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 be specific, you know, please. I like to see his back. It's such a tall. Wait, which back? Me. What part of the back? Because back plenty. Yeah, so back, means back, means back, means back. back means back. Back means back. Back means shoulder. Back. What part of the back? Can I help you? I mean that back actually. Like you know, this the back. Way... So okay. Where he has a spinal cord. <laughs> no, I want to be sure. Okay, so I like my man seeing his back and his butt. You know. I'm and like, just okay, stick to one. You cannot so, do two. So, stick to one. Well, but that's the thing. Like I, you know, just seeing. I feel you are like, still in my own answer. That's why. Oh, really? So be specific. <laughs> okay, Stick to one. So, Which one? So that means we like back. The same. Or, no, we are not the same. <laughs> okay, so let me be. Okay, take up. Let me take down. No, it's back. Oh, <laughs> I dash you okay, up. Okay, so let me take up. You know, the back where my man feels, you know, very broad and you know, kind of bloke. I'm like, ah, who is that bloke? You know, that's like a trigger, a beautiful, sweet feeling for me. Mm. It may not get me there, but I'm like, okay, good one. You're like, you're coming correct. You know. And I like posture. You see some men, you know, no. <laughs> Postures are really stand good. Me like, man stand well, Mudiaga. You know, so that kind of, you know, that's my own. But a lot of women may not care again. Like, whether you stay like this, you stay this way. Yes, okay, it depends on the kind of man you have. Aha, uh -huh, so it depends. When exactly. the man has that physique, you will care. Yeah, exactly. So the reason well, I said cannot, God forgive is me. I don't mind a rondo man. Mm -hmm, you're looking for... Mm -hmm. You know, so... And so when we now say features, a lot this question would always come in size and all. Mm -hmm. You will see a man who is clad, that, who is unclad. That's the word that be yeah. English is not my mother tongue. <laughs> well, it's he's bare and with all them big size down there. You may think that a lot of women would go for this, but you find men who are quite average and just doing. But other qualities just makes them really good. Sure. So you now notice that at the end of the day, size is not. Mm -hmm. um, premium or size is not everything for me I say style and style is not just position style is how you comb your aura your sultry self your look your posture how you put yourself together mm. beyond just the size like I carry that thing no you did not carry that what are other things that makes you the man That's that true. you are and if you check truly these are what, because first of all, we know that men are protectors. However, it does not mean that men won't be vulnerable because I like to see a man who is also vulnerable. Like, I'm not strong today and I'm not strong. It's not a saying of saying a man you be. Mm. This man you man be has human caused being. a whole lot of damage. Sure. You see a lot of men who are coming to do pedicure, manicure. They say, are you not a man? Why are you being like a Gabriel? Mm. You know, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... These are the things that actually puts men in not wanting to try, you know, too hard because of the society sort of stifles their, you know, first of all, we're in a patriarchy world. I don't know what you're going to think about it, but that's what I feel. So when you see a man not doing the, the normal, they not say, you know, be man, you be all, you find women who are in this position, like how the wife or the husband for house could they feel? But those are strong men, if you ask me. And I'm happy to be with a strong man because if you allow me to sit in this position, that means you're an, you're an aware person. You're someone who is intellectual. You know, mm -hmm. I couldn't have been anybody who is not psychosexual, first of all, because you can't even get me to that point because you can, you can only have me when I know that what you're saying is, you know, is engaging. Looking at you, I'm undressing you. Then, yeah. I'm, just, I'm just trying to imagine what you look like naked with that pot belly. Mm -hmm. How's it going to fall above your penis mm -hmm. and everything, mm -hmm. you know? But at the same time, you see very handsome, well built, slick guys. Mm -hmm. And when I say slick guys, I don't mean young guys, because mm -hmm. when we say slick guys, we always think they have to be young. Mm -hmm. Look at an Elumelu. Mm -hmm. He's an old man. But that man has the body. 
He has a body because he's doing the work. Exactly. I mean, That's you know, what I'm go, saying. You know, so a lot of men his age. See, yes. You probably won't find them that way. That way. If most. you bring 10 men his age, you probably mm. find one or two. One or two. So, again, if you notice the conversation we're having, we're talking about willingness. We're talking about intentional people. Mm. We're talking about teachable men. So, men get the money. What do you want to learn? Say, making go back for. They have everything. And so, so, back to how ego can do a whole lot of damage, sort of, if you do not you know, tame it. Do you understand? A lot of people think they can buy the body with, of course, they do buy the body. So I don't have to, you know, stress at the gym and, oh, I just need to do all of them, body work and all. Mm. So you see, for people, it's about what is important to you. A lot of person will say, I don't need power until I carry weight. Some people say, I need money to be able to buy power. Even if my, 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 my tummy, my torso doesn't look like all that, my money will buy all of that. And mm. it's true because it's the life we're living or it's the society we're in yeah. when every other thing doesn't make sense except ego, kudi, mm. right. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. So it takes the other few who are exposed, who are you know, very aware of where they need to be and it's not even like a case of money. It's about understanding discipline and applying that discipline in every facet of their lives you know, beyond money and then you see the results. And that's why you find an elumelu and you find Baba Shegun or Nemeka looking this other way. Mm. I hope that makes sense. So we've talked about the body, right? I want to talk about the face. Okay. You know, a lot of want to talk about men, we, we tend to look more at the body. Yes. We don't look at their feet, right? We don't look at their face. Mm. It's always the shoulder, you know, for some men who have ass mm. and who love to wear tight um, pants, God mm -hmm. bless you people. Like, God bless you people. You give us life. You know, <laughs> people like, oh, we don't have ass. When mm. we see men, we ah, and God, you give this man what's supposed to be mine. Mm. You know, now, facial structure. There are some men that just their side view alone. Alone. You are like, ah, who is that guy? This has nothing to do with their body. Okay. Right? Just their side view. They are fine. Mm -hmm. They are old, but they are young. young. They are handsome. Looking, doing well. You know? So it's not, it's not, it doesn't really, for them, it's not about the money. This is what I would say, marry a good guy mm -hmm. or marry a fine mm -hmm. woman mm -hmm. so he can produce good children. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, we have seen a very handsome man and a very pretty woman mm -hmm have an ugly child mm. and you want you know this cannot how, be their child yes how did it happen that's their child oh uh, well genetics has a strong yeah. dealing here if i would say because you, you cannot decide an otutu po yo yo how mm. they look and all you know so back to genetics but i think that we're talking about you being very interested in seeing a man and you just like how he looks sometimes the other person is not seeing that i really like this guy mm. And other times, only one person may not like, but every other person likes this person. Guess what's happening? The aura of what the person is carrying at the time. Because male fac facial structure is just all that, you know, except for some significant ones, you know. Those house are guys. Yes, trust us, you know, they are shaped. So genetics, hereditary, how the body works. Mm. Like if you see a typical evil man, maybe he's always like beer, taking drinks. If you see an outsider, they always act like these Indians. They take teas, you know. They're not really on the big side because of the northern region and how mm. their body is wired because they do lots of herbs and all of that. So you can tell. But people still go extra to do the work. Sure. And that's where the advice comes to, you know, listeners and viewers who are like, you need to take care of yourself beyond saying money. Like, I'm not in my desirable um, weight, maybe because I'm still shedding baby weight and all. But I'm being... No, say double baby weight. Please. Okay, double Be specific. Be, yes, you know. But still, I'm telling myself, this is not where you should be. You got to push. I can give the excuse, ah, ah, like these four babies don't come I out, you know. Come out, I cannot myself. You know, and then one year, two years, you know. Mm. So this is where discipline comes to play. This is not where... Not like I'm overly conscious, but you see me sitting where I kind of put myself where. So even if I'm, you know, thriving in this weight at this time, you will still want to... Maybe you may still admire how I'm putting myself yeah. together. But a lot of people don't do the work. A lot of men, then just they, like we said, one pack, they are not, one pack is saying you have money or you don't have money. So we now need to start teaching our men again that 
beyond money. You see a lot of their wives, you know, trying to do some weight loss tips and trying to get correct, trying to do it right. Yeah. Why the men are just, you know, you now wonder when people say men are dying before women, mm. you know. So what is, you know, important to you? A lot of men work, 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 you know, look for money, look for money to be. And I understand because they also want to cater for the children. Sure. Which man where you want to where he needs to be at the office at five, return say ten because of traffic, and you want to tell the man go lift weights. He said the weight I'm lifting already is, is so a cool. lot for work. So if we now start having this balance and understanding, I think maybe it will be easier for us to deal with. And a lot of men will look out to weekend, Saturday and Sunday to just do the rest, you know, do the no talking area, or maybe mm. they now go to have camaraderie and you know drink with friends back to the weight gain, back to this. So it's just like a rat race, a circle one, you know, but God will help us. And I know that I believe that it's, it's high time that men start taking care of themselves because you see a lot of women talk about self-care and all. Are men really talking about self-care? So while you're looking for the money for your wife, for your children, you also need to be in a good place physically, mentally, mm. emotionally, to be able to now give that financial freedom you think that that's all women need. I hope this is driving mm. home and, you know, yeah. I, I think we also do not appreciate these men enough. Mm. Um, they do a whole lot. Yes. You know, you see a man make, uh, let's say 100K, and what belongs to that man, man. is like five, 500 yes. naira or 5k because yes. yes. he's got kids he's mm. got his wife he he's got his that. family mm -hmm. he's got extended mm -hmm. family he's mm -hmm. got in-laws mm -hmm. you know he has people who look up to him at work he has church mm -hmm. members he has offering so at the end of the day he's already on. exhausted and still you find that that a lot of african men are not encouraged to be vulnerable now man we are not are we even saying thank you today yes, we feel it's their so job that, exactly you see, there's this practice I do in my community where I deliberately tell my women to go show up for their husbands, mm. do a scrub session, because a typical Nigerian man, we never travel out, will hardly think about, let me go so that somebody will scrub me, how? Even, that even money, if you travel out, they'll give that. Yes, that I'm money, busy. I'll use it to give my wife, let them fix them, so because they're like, mm. let me fix. The same thing for a lot of women who are also showing up for their family, they do the nurturing, because women are born nurturers, right? But... Again, balance, you know. So we need to start preaching the gospel of, of self-care for men, you know, showing up, taking care of yourself. So while you're looking for the money, your wife is happy about inside out, and then there is that balance, and you meet yourself in a place of equilibrium. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> you know, when you hear certain things, right, all you need to do at some point is just calm down, you know, mm -hmm. to take it in, yeah. you know, so that you're sure you actually yeah. did hear. Like you said, a lot of men don't even have time for themselves. Mm -hmm. They don't. I was speaking to someone, and she talked about how, you know, a friend of hers who happens to be a man traveled for no reason, mm -hmm. just for two weeks. And so she was angry when he said, mm -hmm. oh, I'm here. And she was like, what did you travel for? Mm. But like, I don't even know. I just came to rest. Mm. And she was angry. Like, how, why how? would you even waste so much money, money in this time of the year? Mm. You traveled not for shopping. You traveled, you just wanted else. to rest. Like, are you okay? And then she talked about it again. Like, wait. Like, but wait a minute. This man has worked this money. Mm. And for, for most of the money he gets, it goes to other people. For the first time, he's saying, I'm going to rest. rest. And then and you, want to, you want to be angry. You want to, you want to question him. Mm. Say, why would he even spend that Incredible. kind of money? But it will be okay for you, for him to have spent that money on oh, other people. Yeah. You know, his family or in-law or anything. Yeah. You know, and the truth about it, I think men need to get to that point of saying, you know what? Time up. Yeah. You know, um, done. I was speaking to a couple recently. In fact, this man just walked away from his marriage. What was what was there the was reason? no reason. He said he was just done. I could see overwhelm, and I know that it's, it's something that can be fixable, you know. But it, it, back to the conversation of how men, now man, you be, you cannot afford to be vulnerable yeah. at this time. 
and one day he picked his things and like you know what i am done with this so we're still in therapy and he see reasons why okay okay it's like and, it, and the whole time it looks like it's the wife you know to be but i'm like no let's think about you your self-care maybe you're just over. so it's not maybe necessarily on your wife but mm. you so now processes of different intervention and it's beginning to think like okay because i've never really taken a time out i've never because i've been hearing give me give me give me my whole life so and he yeah. thinks maybe the problem is the wife and then it's just blanks out and you know this is how people commit suicide people mm. give up you know because a lot of men would rather not share than share with somebody. It's a, a man like you. So these are the conversations. We're doing. However, men, take care of yourself because it's so important why you're taking care of the home front. So, hmm. Okay. You know, we've moved into men taking care of themselves, paying more attention to yourself. Let's go back mm. to the penis now. Right. The almighty Bula. Mm. Right. <laughs> um, I see a lot of men looking out for a BJ. Yet, they don't shave. Yeah, and, and the worst part is, for a lot of African men, right, I don't know about other people, for a lot of African I've heard women say, oh, I'm trying to suck him and he's, he's forcing my head. Mm -hmm. You know, he's forcing my <laughs> You have to laugh him back. You, know, right? you know, while saying that, I remembered um, one of these posts on IG mm. where the man, are you laughing? I well, think the, laughing man was trying, I don't know what the man was trying to eat cucumber, right? Mm. He held it, and as he opened his mouth, the man just slammed his yeah, head. It's like, and that thing went, mm. you know. And he almost threw it. Yeah. Mm. And I was like, next time, mm. you won't pull my head down again. That's like what that you do, way, you know. know. And I'm sure till the man would die, he probably would never die, because that mm. thing actually affected him. Wow. Right? And you know, a lot of African men do that thing. Mm. You know, they're forcing your head the down their down. penis, you know. Forgetting that there's a limit to how much you can take if you're not used to Me gagging. Too, yes. You see women um, on social media take long balloons mm. and they stock it up their truth. The you know, they take it to the very end and they close their mouth and then they pull it out again. They have trained themselves. themselves. They have trained their reflex. They have trained, you know, their, their truth. They have trained their mouth mm. to be able to manage gagging, mm. you know, the longest of time. Yeah. You know, so for a woman who is still trying to suck two inches, he now it's force her head down to three five inch, you want to kill and then she's choking on it. The reason I would say, if you're going to gag, don't eat. Don't eat, don't eat and gag, right? Mm -hmm. Gag on an empty stomach, so that even if end will come out, let it be saliva. Be maybe saliva, not. Uh... All right, and so a lot of African men do not understand. It's not until you, you know, drill it in. Mm -hmm. Some people even give them blowjob. Instead of them to stay, they will be want to be pressing their penis into you. But that's how it is. Do you want to give yourself blow job by yourself? <laughs> by yourself. But, but thing is, so that's how excitement works and arousal and stuff like that, you know, because for women too. Why are you not dipping his head inside your vagina? Yeah. I went by sitting, maybe say somebody, not with me, Sha. I uh, never know if so, not me. So, so, so they dip head, you know, so can, they, can you, Because there's limits, right? Yes, there is. So actually. the max I want to believe, I've not seen all women, mm. I want to be the max most women would do okay. is move your head. Mm. If you're not moving the right way, maybe you're still using the yes. Oh, God, bring the head yeah, down and, you know, do your give me heart, right? right? For those who, you, you know yourself, right? Know. So, unlike a man who is trying to force his penis down your throat. Mm. So, the thing is, a lot, of, a lot of men also believe that you're my wife. So, I can just, you know, forcefully, I want to do this, you know, not believing or not realizing that some of these women are sexual illiterate. Remember when I said mm. a lot of women like, no, that's extreme. Why should I even do that? Some women don't even like, why should I put my head there? When the, screen, the same mouth I use in talking to God or stuff like that. So back to conversations, like I wish that every couple, every married couple out there can like, this is how I like it. What do you? What are your likes? What are your? A lot of people don't know their dislikes. I was going to say that. Like, you know, what what like happens? When, what happens when you don't know? Because I know people, a lot of people know what they don't like. Like, but they don't. Know but they don't know what, what they, they want like, or how what, what they, they like. like. You know, and the truth is, when it comes to sex, I always tell people, you don't even know what you like. Mm. You might think your nipple is what you like today. A lot of people discover on the on the during intercourse mm. right and a lot of people by accident a lot of people by just being aware that okay i think i will like this by you know attachment to 
So you see some people in their own way of intercourse is by forceful, like, you know, you know what they call IgG, initial gra gra. I just want to take it. I just want you know mm. why the other person is not how I'm wired. Mm. There's this quote I learned this week, and I'm going to share it because I like to use analogy when I teach or talk, you know. It drives the point home. A lot of people say that if some school of thought says to air is to, what's that saying? To air is human. To air is human and to forgive is divine. divine yeah. And the, the, the group of A. The group of B says now that if, forgive, if betrayer is forgivable, the devil will, will still be in heaven. I'll take the two again. True, sure. yeah. If betrayer... So I, I, would say, I would say God doesn't forgive. So, so the, that's it. So, so that, it's not even about God. It's about you and I, how mm. we're wired. Some people, they love it aggressive. The BDM family, like, let us do it. Like, oh I'm going to choke on you. you. You know, they use vulgar words and stuff. I don't like to say vulgar because to a lot of people, that's a good word. That's what pushes their adrenaline. So it's not vulgar. It's how we say And that's why we're, we, The word you that know, turns exactly. people on, really? So you call are, it vulgar? Are, yeah, so we're we strategizing using words, you yeah. know. So rather than saying that, we say delirious and, you know, delicious and all. Mm. So that your brain starts, you know, the brain starts speaking that, okay, these are good feelings rather than using dirty words or stuff like that. Now, school of thoughts A says that if betrayer is forgivable, the devil is to be in heaven now. It's not talking about God, but, mm. see, you know, intellectuals will look beyond that. Hey, but who's supposed now, to forgive so, the devil? So the thing is there are a lot of people that know Yes, they wanted this very, you know, hard and straight. Why the other two eh, is human and to forgive is design, divine. They want it soft. They want it easy. Don't rush on me. Don't choke on me. Don't push my head down. Back to balance of how do you like it? Mm. If I know a lot of the things that I don't like, I should be able to know the things that I like. Okay. But a lot of people are couples or they are married couples in love, but they are sexually couples. They are sexually married people, not sexually in love, mm. if you know what I mean. So they're just roommates, do, basically. They're not roommates, but they don't really know their intimates. Like, I like to say, what are your intimates? Like, I have you discuss what I like. I'm very sure that your husband understands you to a level. A lot of, now only you know that one, a lot of married people do not know this about themselves. Yeah. She means when they sleep with her, you know now. A lot of people, like, first of all, like when we say, okay, you don't want to learn this conversation on human sexuality and all of that, a lot of people don't know the features of how the penile shaft or how the penis is wired or the names, the, yeah. you know. A lot of people may even focus on the shaft. What about the scrotum area? What about the perineum? People are like, ah, Jessica, you don't come again. Well, we're on live, so we can't <laughs> say, and we're not in class, so I can't share all of this mm -hmm. information again. But those places are filled with nerve endings, the arousal points yeah. there, you know. And then for a man, by the time I start saying, maybe if, if I was or somebody saying the perineal area, you now start saying, ah, are you Uncle Gabriel? But he's not, he's not Uncle Gabriel, yeah. but he's knowing, he knows that this place excites me. Have you discussed it? Do I know your mm. fantasies? Do I know your likes? Do I, I mean... So, I, so how, do, how do I explain to someone when I don't even know what I like? So sometimes you start by suggestions. The same because some women discuss, truly don't know. don't know. So not just women now. Right. Some men basically don't even know what to don't do. Don't even know. Right. And um, I've seen they a want couple, to, but I've they don't seen know. a wife says that, Jess, I need a counseling session. What's the challenge? I try to be the one who is on top, you know, raise my husband's leg, and I want to please him. And he says, I'm not comfortable with that position. Maybe we need to stop. And that was a turn off for her. And the man is like, no, it's not manly. Like, I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not cut out for that, you mm. know. But to her, it was like, no, nothing. So you see wiring, attachment. Mm. I'm like, why should I be the one to raise? Are you the man or I'm the man, you know? Oh, Claire, raise your leg. Raise, yes. And I, I think what she probably would have done is, you know, maybe get... Um, it can um, even start a slow. A re re Yeah, okay. Dying, you know, when he's done, you can raise him. Can. So you see why suggestions are good, yeah. conversations and I, okay, what do you, the same way you want to say D, what do you want to eat today, sweet, do you like um, this soup or do we go light or hard food? And then the same way you can now also suggest. Do you go? <laughs> why do you misinterpret my words? You know, no, I think I said, select my said, words. Do, do, you, you do you go soft food or hard food? Which do you want? So thing is, the same way you can also still say, how do you like it? Do we do yeah. the bedroom today? You know, from there you can introduce lighter conversations to hard conversations and daring questions, daring, you know, discussions. So it's a stage, it's a process. Like when we do sex education for children, 
we don't teach children of 16 what um, needs to be taught to a four-year-old. You know, the way and manner in which we teach sex education for children is different in stages, right? There's a, you can't be talking about age appropriation for couples because you now know you've gotten to the stage of safe talk, you yeah. know. So that's how it works. And hopefully we get it right. Hopefully we now start opening up to daring conversations, daring conversations, safe talk that will better the marriages of people. Because a lot of people will tell you, for some irreconcilable differences, we cannot be together. Most of them are sexual. Sex. Yes. It's just sexually hated. Yes. So I, I want to find out from you, right? We've talked right. about, you know, um, a man's body, you know, mm -hmm. that turns you on. Mm -hmm. So for instance, for someone like you who talked about, you know, the butt and the back, mm -hmm. you know, it turns you on now. What would you advise someone who is turned on by the butt or the back, mm -hmm. right? How would you advise them to pay attention to that part of the body during sex? Because it, it's, it's one thing to love something, mm -hmm. right? We have people who are foot fetish, mm -hmm. right? They mm -hmm. love just your feet. They want yeah. to suck on your toes. Mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Has anyone, you know, have you been drilled that's at the same good. time they're sucking your toes mm -hmm. together? You know, and just help me, guys. I'm so tough. <laughs> I'm done, right? Calm down. Come back. Okay, yeah, I'm back. Come back. I'm back. Nobody's sucking your feet here. Yes, You're on your own. Right. You're on your own. <laughs> I could even you know. notice my feet is like, okay, like, uh, you know, I'm getting <laughs> jiggy. That's why you should come back. I'm back. Because I saw you go. I'm back. Come back. Don't go <laughs> anywhere. Back. Right? So there are people who are foot fetish. There are people who are armpit fetish. Right? Mm -hmm. There are people who just love very odd parts of their mm -hmm. partner's body. Now, if I say I love my husband's butt, yes. right, for someone like my love is butt, because I don't have yash. And how can a man have yash when I don't have yash? I like how you just twist, like, we'll just get serious, and I'm like, I'm giving it, and then you just go all the way, I just drop me like, down. You I know, don't I have, have, you know, I have, but it's flat. <laughs> but, but when you see a man whose butt is well covered you're like ah oh god why mm. but you see me there oh. mm. you look me finish go give man mm. where i did mm. you can't carry your own carry give me right. like it's not nice right so how do you now pay attention to that part of the body during sex because it's one thing for me to love this part so for instance let me say okay i love your nose mm. right i love the structure of your nose mm. how do i play with your nose how do i pay attention to your nose during sex? It's in the game of understanding the concept of slow sex. Mm. A lot of people just have sex. A lot of people do not enjoy sex. They are two different things. You have sex, you really enjoy sex. But in the concept of slow sex, you'll be able to understand the, you know, um, non-verbal communications, okay. you know, what I like, what I don't like, and you're able to introduce this. Now, let me take um, for instance, you talking about the back butt and all. There's something I like to introduce to my community where I say na uh, naked viewing. So for me, who is intrigued about the back and how the bloke looks and my man is just all over the place, I could say, okay, do a naked view for me. And it goes all around and I'm like, oh my goodness, or body mapping, there's such a thing. Okay, we're in life, so these things are not, you know, I'm just going to restrict them. But imagine body mapping. Mm. That would make me now enjoy all of that and I'm getting to my arousal point. We have what it calls um, um, sexual response circle for both man and for the woman. Yeah. So for me, I may like do all of zones. the... Exactly. So I may do all of my body mapping, getting to arousal point. At that point, I'm getting more excited and all. Oh, this is how you introduce when you have the concept of slow sex. But a man just comes back from Lagos traffic, from work, the next thing is Mama and Kechi in the dark, open. Where do I want to see? Say, mm. I like but but Babo, where is it coming from? But if you Lick take time, exactly. So if you take time to now do those slow, so you'll be able to now notice all of those things that you like and gradually introduce them. And you can have sex 24 hours a day because mm. you're doing these other things that put you on high and you can connect on a different level, right? So it's easy for me to now notice all those things that I like and you introduce, but you must start slow and gradually. If you've never done extreme, you cannot go extreme. You have to see, you know, how when you're building a building or a house, okay. or, you know, you don't start like you see the aesthetics. You must do the dirty work first True. from ground up. Foundation. So I think that every couple can have this conversation, open up, you know, issues around 
suggestions. I like it when you do this. You can start with texting and flirting and sexting. Mm. Like, can we do something different today? Just by saying that. I could do this right here on life and just say something to my husband. Like, I'm having this conversation right here. Guess what I feel like doing? Let's mm -hmm. just do it, like, in the dark. That alone is already putting something in his subconscious that, hey, there's work to be done tonight. And because mm. of she's acting really strong, I want to go all the way. And you're really texting for real. Okay. I'm asking a question. Yes. You know, so you just go all the way to say, okay, wait. You see what I just did right there? I'm already preparing him. I'm prepping his mind. You know, I'm making him get excited for pleasure to come. Yeah, so you can do all of that. I'll send my message. Okay, great. I'll send mine because I'm, I'm online. I'm not with my... <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's, that's on the host. Yes, mm -hmm. oh, for sure. And that's how these things work. But a lot of people are not, you know, in that realm because mm -hmm. they never started their marriage. And, I mean, I've been married over a decade now. Glory to God. But imagine every day is like a new, we're discovering each other. Not because of, I, you know, not because of I'm lucky. I think yeah. we're doing the work. And when couples start introducing this, and for those ones who are not married, when you start having these serious conversations, it is easy for you to thrive in marriage. Mm. Yeah, because you see... I did um, a research on a lot of a few couples, about 50, and then we were taking um, report on the level of our marriage. Some people were on bliss level, some people on like 40 percent, which is good. Some people are on great, and some people are on fantastic. Mm. So, in what level of marriage are you? And what level covers your intimacy, sexuals, finances? Do they know about your account, this other account? When you hear no, yes, you know that this one's. Because that's There's why some so people would have some certain conflict you think they will not come out from, but the next day they are good because they are on the level of fantastic because they know each other rich house. Nothing really may want to break them. We we'll set to we disagree to agree. But a lot of people maybe they're on twenty because they've not had the intimacy. Their will of uh, life is it's, not it's nowhere. They are jar of life. They don't have anything together. So it's easy for you to please go your way. Let me go my way. But mm. when you find a couple. Who has done it all? Like, I'm so comfortable with my We've said so many things together that we are on a level that there's really nothing I don't know about you, except for the one that I don't know. Then that would be like maybe not to compare with the level that I'm at. Yeah. I'm, I, I, I am in. Help me. Did I, yeah. Is that English? Yeah, right? at, at all. Yes, I'm at in. right now. But we're good. But a lot of people cannot say this, even after 20 years, because there's still a lot of baggage that has not been expressed. There's still a lot of blockage. But when all of this are off the um, trail. You're good to go. You know, you know this thing you said is what I, I... I was talking to someone when you were talking about uh, Davido and Choma. Right. And I said, what a lot of you or a lot of people on earth don't understand mm. is when these two people are behind closed doors, yes. what he says to her, you have we no idea. Know. What she knows about him Nobody you has have no, no idea. idea, right? It's a matter of when you see two people having issues or mm. you see a couple in court mm. in name of divorce mm. and then the next day are coming matching outfits. That's just, that's and they just are wondering, some sort of a deeper level because that's... Because know, when two people are behind closed doors and once they are naked, yes, so many everything days comes have, bare. Uh, absolutely. You know, so even when we say, oh, this guy has messed up several times, we have no idea how many times he goes on his mm, knees to apologize. Mm. We have no idea what he says. Mm. We have no idea the kind of problems. We have no idea what he has to go through, go through. behind closed doors. All people say is, oh, she'll forgive him. Mm -hmm. and they move on. You have no idea the kind of pain mm. she's also going through. You have no idea what she says to so, him yes, and how much he's her. willing to give his life mm. to make it work. work you know, you have no idea how much he says, you know what, this is the only mistake I have. This is and the a only lot of flaw. People just know the part where it's the man who has had some baggage. We don't even know the other person. So it's a whole lot of uncovering who you truly are. Mm. Because if I wasn't so uncovered in my relationship, I won't be this bold talking about my intimacy, right? So if every couple at some point in their lives, it may not be sexual, other areas where it could even be business, where you're both honest. I think the word is, you know, really be, being honest to each other and being true to each other. I'm doing life with you. Mm. Like every other day we remind each other that, see, we're doing life together. So sometimes it's not, it's not about my imperfection. It's about what we have at stake. We're doing marriage. You know, so what is our goal? A lot of couples don't have, it might look like we're talking about sexuals and all. 
but these are all connected. A lot of couples don't have, you know, vision and values. I have my vision. I know. I know. Mm. So when one person is going the other way, we look at the goal, the bigger goal, then all my anger just fades away. All my ill feelings just, you know, to the back door and we forge ahead. So we don't also know what these other people have committed to. So the, the question is, what commitment are you holding on? So let, let, me, let me ask a question, right? What happens when we don't have a goal? Right. Right? Like, okay, you have a goal, right? You know what both of you are working towards. So if anybody's going outside the line, mm. you can easily call the person call back. back. Mm. This is not the agreement. This is the word. So, yeah. Excuse me. Right? Now, what happens when you have a couple who don't have a goal? Mm. They have no vision. Mm. But they have learned to live. Mm. So, and it you, works for them. But you know that sometimes you can't just believe in unconsciousness because of I feel that I'm aware and I'm, you know, putting a name to it, you know, value mm. system, vision. A lot of people do not understand, but they are leaving that part of saying, now so it's supposed to be, we're doing well. And they are leaving that and they'll be okay, I will die here. To them, that is there. So mm. you cannot give a man what he doesn't even understand. It's just like giving a baby. 10 million, everything a one year old, that kind of conversation. Yeah. But they are doing the right thing. They are living and they are happy in that, should I say ignorance? And so you cannot, so changing that making of that child might become detrimental to the child at that point in time. But you now understand 10 million, you know what to do and we are still in the goal of happiness. Mm. You know how they say pursuit of happiness. So at every stage and, you know, level of a particular person, you want to do better, you want to know better. But the question is, Truly in your heart, be honest to yourself, be true to yourself, and live in such a way that when you live, you're happy and knowing that you're okay, mm. if that makes a lot of sense. Yes. And back to the mind, it doesn't have to be the level that I'm in, how much we know ourselves in total, right? But to the other person, are you doing okay? Are you living the life that says, so it's just for me who says it's vision and mission that I'm calling it. You don't have to call it a name, but you're doing just, and you're happy where you are, and that's it. Because there are people who, who have their vision statement, mission statement, and yeah, they still don't quite be married, and they see mm. the divorce part, they see the separation, even after knowing vision and mission. So that I know vision and mission does not mean that I am doing what I'm supposed to do. To get there. Because I may know all of this, and I say I'm not doing it again. Mm. But the one who doesn't know, it's just a name, we'll call it. But the other person is doing it, if you connect to what I'm saying. Yeah, so yeah. let it not be like, when I thought it's like deep, ah, big grammar, no. Am I truly living it and living by that example that I say? Yeah. Okay, that, that, you know, that being said, um, I think we have touched on a whole lot. Oh, we've no, talked about no. the children. We've mm. talked about family system. We've talked about pleasure. We've talked about sex. We've talked about intimacy. Right. You know, we've talked about uh, um, belief system, values. We've said a whole lot, actually. Exactly. Willingness to learn. So, you know, so couples in with... all of this, how many of all these things are we going to be hearing mm. or are we going to be getting from the sex conference? Okay, so um, I think everything we've shared here is what is going to be happening. You know, so there's a restriction knowing that it's just Jessica and the host is inviting me. But imagine we have a thousand and one people coming to listen to the same message. You're only listening to a professional who thinks she knows exactly she's an authority in mm. this. Can we now talk to the regular person that says, Una just a talk with Una just a talk. See the problem where I get, give me a mic mm. and let me share. You'll be blown away with how much people are not saying, right? So we're going to be talking from various experts who are field, who are major in so many conversations. Human sexuality is such a wide topic. So we're bringing experts from different angles to touch about, to touch in, uh, on this, you know, very important you know, topic and conversations. There's going to be conversation on sex after 50. Mm. A lot of people don't think that this is a thing. But what you think we, of menopause. You and think I'm of just when I'm, I'm done. When life just Some people just Yeah, so a lot of people just think that there's such a thing. I don't know if the, um, the life would allow such a conversation where somebody says, I don't know what's happening, but my vulva is closing up. There's such a thing as that. A lot oh, yeah. of people have not heard it before. Where? Clo right? Exactly. There's the coach who is going to be talking about children. Mm. A lot of people are curious. I'm a curious child. I don't know if you were a curious child. I grew up knowing that I was very inquisitive and all. We have children like that. Mm. We are living in a sexualized world. Are you teaching your children? Are you preparing them for the world they are in? Mm. 
right? Because it's harder now. Because everything is right there. So yes. what betide you if you don't put the right messaging outside, right? So there's going to be the part where a medical doctor is coming to touch on erectile dysfunction for people. It's just a whole, you know, beautiful experience altogether. We are going to touch on all areas, if you ask me. So is this event um, strictly for women? Because you know what on sex, most times most it's women, 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 women kind of. To thing. be honest, I wish more men would come in because, and that's why we're shocked. Oh, men are allowed? Yes, it's a, I mean, 21 plus, even singles, because if you're going to say yes, I do, you need to come learn and understand what couples are facing, conversations like, so that you know how to start making the right decision and putting space out for, you know, getting the best knowledge that will, you know, single you out. Mm. We also want senior citizens to come in. If you're an inspiring, you know, sexual health educator or you want to know more about there's also going to be exactly. even guidance as well. Teachers, you know, teachers, teachers because it's stop so teaching your vagina, yes, come and, and learn the right and word. Learn the right word, you know, the exposure. A lot of people are teaching with triggers, like you are triggering. You. Don't, don't. And the moment yeah. they now have access to, like they are now married, imagine how a young lady, how a young man knows that if you do this, you shall die. The scripture mm. says it. And automatically, they now want you to just. Oh, let me do it this time. Let me do it this time. Because and then going with something all, 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 all over. Yeah, so that's why you see a lot of people who bottle up in marriage because they just move from zero to 100. Don't do this, don't do it. And immediately I say, yes, I do. You'll not be asking, when is the child coming? I don't even want to open because my body is already used to saying no, no, no. But when we now have people who are being taught the right way, it's not like, no, are you ready for the choices and consequences you're making? Exactly. It's easy for me to say, okay, now I'm in a new season of my choice of saying, yes, I do. Such a person will enjoy sex better than the one who say, if you ever open your leg for that man or that woman, you have a curse on your life. You see how I taught mm. these two conversations now. So singles should come, learn. You know, because when you start teaching a child, no, have you seen a child that you can say, don't go there. The more you keep saying to that child, don't go there, don't that child it. goes there. Let me try it and see. Because you've been saying no, and there's such a thing as it. Let me see. There's something you don't want me to see, and I want to the see. The same way they ask us not to kiss. Mm. You know, don't don't talk to a guy. Right. Don't kiss a guy. And the first time you get a kiss, and the love like, will have oh that butterfly. God, you're wondering, you know, you know, now. Nah. And imagine at that age where orgies are very, you know, on point. You don't have anything like bills and all. Imagine where your dopamine level is on the increase because sometimes at 30, your metabolism begins to slow down. Yeah. For 20s and early young adults and late teens, mm. that is the point where, that's why I said, Jeffrey, stop running. Just this minute, Jeffrey's running because dopamine level is high. Yeah. Everywhere is just so, imagine telling that child, don't, don't. It would only just wait for you to be in closed doors to do all those things that you say no. Yeah. But when you teach them, not trigger them, they get the right message into know. So, those are what we are going to be talking mm. about. And start teaching couples again how to open up to have the conversations, not by saying no their whole life. So it's like a new journey. For a lot of couples, it's going to be a new journey altogether. For a lot of parents, it's going to, it's going to be a new lesson altogether in teaching their children, children how education. to approach the conversation again. So I'm really looking forward to it. So, so when, when, is this, when, when is this event, um, location, um, how much okay, is ticket? Okay, so... Um, it's funny, but it's actually free. It's been paid for. We have sponsors. We have big brands who are manning all of this. So come July 20th. You are, you, I mean, you, a life and direct. Who is not going to be there? I'm telling you. If I'm not there, that, 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 that hall will not I'm work. I'm even looking for a moment where we'll have an actual debate. That the men are talking now. No, you women, you need to learn these areas. Yeah. The other men. So there's a whole lot of activities. So it's going to be July 20th for rent out. And it was specific in the location choosing. So that people, we're not joking about, like, it's serious yeah. business. There's so much that have been put in millions for people to come here, this conversation, and open up grounds for better. And I'm looking forward. I can't wait. My body's doing gish, gish, <laughs> Okay, I can't wait. Um, July 20th yeah. is very close. Like I said, sex conference is a free event. All you need to do is register for the event, right? Um, go on her IG page, the Intimacy Masters, right, and click on the link to register. Sex conference is a free event. It's a whole day event. You're know, talking about family, kids, relationship, marriage, love, before marriage, after marriage, you know, after 50, after 60, before death, after death, you know, <laughs> sex in heaven, Absolutely. you know, everything, right? Um, so it's a place you want to be on the 20th of July. Trust me, I'm not going there because I am so spiced. No, 
I'm dragging my husband there because I want to start life again. Right. Do you know what you mean? Starting sex again after 14 years of marriage. We are starting all, all, all over again. And so one of the best things we can do for ourselves is go out and refresh our spirit, refresh our brain, and refresh our emotions with new words, with new ideas, with new adventures from different set of you know professionals. And that's what you also need to do. July 20th, 2024, Oriental Hotel. It's a free event. But, 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 if you are not registered, you will not be allowed into the hall. That's the truth. If you're not registered, you'll not be allowed into the hall. So Jessica, what would be your last word? You know we practically spent two hours. Right. Right. Really. Conversations so. <laughs> like just go on and on and you don't even think exactly. That. My last words are just to say that sex is beautiful. It's a gift from God. You know, be you, be true, be honest to yourself and live the best of your life. Not forgetting self care. And sex is part of self care. Mm. Peace out. <laughs> Sex is part of self. Anyway, I've asked my question. Who's going to be on top tonight was the question. And the answer, I'll let you know next. Right? She says self-care, so I'm going to, you know, care for myself. Yes, you should. I need to, right? right. deserve it, right? <laughs> yes, you do. I can't do this after two hours. I'm, I'm not going to care for myself. Am I supposed to be on top of Honda? As you like it. Ah, Trust oh me. As you like it. The red-headed woman, right? All right, just wanted to try something. It's here. it's no, it's in your blood. You. you can't just try. You know, thank my sister told me so My sister, you can't just try. It's there. <laughs> it's, it's death. just coming it's out. Death. You know, it's it's a gradual process. <laughs> thank you. Anyways, we have come to the end of late now with Soul It's been a fantastic two, freaking hot wet hours with you. I read my head red head partner. Um, like I said, if you don't know what redhead means, then you are on your own. And at the same time, you probably might be on a long thing. So if you don't even know what long thing means, then, then. you shouldn't be here watching us. But for everyone at home, thank you so much. Um, I can't wait to be with you. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to start a new journey with everyone. July 20th, Oriental Hotel Sex Conference is a free event, right? Um, this is not us being out there looking for money. This is us helping and building more homes trust me when we fix a home we fix the community when we fix the community we fix the country when we fix the country we fix the world and that is what we stand for so on this point, we say do have a fantastic night so like come your way same station um same time and next week i mean your one and only soul spice the sex goddess see ya love you and good night bye